So, first important thing, you have to understand the public and private discourse are different. Now, once you get there, there are four things you got to keep in mind. First is, James, winning is not the goal. Confidence is. And if you're like me, you like to win. <laughs> but uh, you're not about winning. Here it is where you're just expressing confidence. What somebody who is aggressive is doing is, is they want to put you on the defensive. Okay. And they can usually do that very effectively by just being hyper-aggressive. But if you are just confident, you stay confident. It's very unnerving to people who are attacking you. Because when somebody says something like, James, you're a racist. And you go, oh, maybe I am. <laughs> oh, gosh. You know, did I do something wrong? Did I say something wrong? You know, because what that guy wants to do is he wants you to go into your corner and go, oh, gosh, maybe I am a racist. I'm an awful person. Meanwhile, he continues on with, you know, whatever he's dishing. So describe describe the the difference you're, you're, pick, you're illustrating here. So um, what would winning be? Or what, what what's the difference in winning and confidence? Or right. what, what would a winning an argument look like in, in a public discourse anyway? Because right. I, I imagine it is, is it at least better to win if you can? Or um, is winning, is it, is it irrelevant if you win or not? Is confidence the main thing regardless? Well, you want to win. And sometimes okay. you do win. But in social media, for instance, um, you're not going to change most people's minds, right? Like if, yeah, if somebody throws out something that's hyper-aggressive, what I care about, that's a great question, is the people who are reading this conversation. Okay. And they're the ones you have to be thinking about. Like when I see something on Facebook that I think is outrageous and I'm, I want to address, it's largely because I don't want the people who just read that to let that go. Mm -hmm. I need to say something about that. So winning in that situation would be convincing the other person you're right. Right. And that's not going to happen very often. Mm -hmm. It's not. Uh, but what you can do is neutralize it, at least, and you can let the people who are reading and listening know that there are other options out there. And then maybe that guy who said that is a waffle head for making such an outrageous statement. Because gotcha. there's always people watching. And it's those people uh, that you have to care about. Gotcha. So I've, I've heard, yeah, I've heard other people kind of discuss that strategy as well, where it's if they're in a conversation with someone who is clearly not getting it or is not going to, their mind's not going to be changed and at some yeah. point. It's no longer an attempt to change their mind. It's an attempt to change everyone else's mind who's watching. Yes. Even even I've heard this guy just make an example of the person that they're that they're talking to, um, which and I think there is a place for that. Um, I think that uh, and I think the place is in that public discourse arena. Mm -hmm. I, I I've seen it used even in, in YouTube shows and in different uh, things where I I don't think it's always appropriate um, because they're not getting that distinction between personal or the private arena and right. public arena. And I think that, I mean, this show, I never intend to make an example of someone. I would never intend to uh, really use the, the tactics that we're going to describe mm -hmm. here. This, it wouldn't be appropriate in this show because we're not trying to make an example. I mean, we're not trying to, we are trying to, I am actually trying to change the person's mind of who I'm talking to. That's, yes. that's my goal. Um, or and yes, to change the people who are the, the minds of the people who are watching, yes. but it is, uh, it is a much more, personal and, 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 and even if it's not totally private, I can uh, you know see the person I'm talking to. And usually people I have on this show are people that I know uh, somewhat well or at least have, have worked with before and I would like to have that relationship. So there's no need for no. a uh, for the tactics that we're discussing here. No. Okay, I just wanna make that distinction and kind of get some more clarity there. Okay? Yeah, it's good. Okay, so winning is not the goal, confidence is.